Yeah, I'm ready. Give it to me one more time. Oh. That, that, that part. Don't tell me this doesn't sound like out of like a song out of a musical, like or a verse out of a musical, or maybe even like a Disney film. It's giving me that vibe. It's just ah. Hey guys, my name is Sasha. You're watching Sask Reacts, and this is my very first reaction to the group Fifty Fifty. Um, I honestly don't. I, I know next to nothing about this group, but I saw them mentioned to me personally like in recommendations and comments on Twitter. I see a lot of my reactor friends being really excited about this group and they have certainly some hype going on about them. Um, I know next to nothing about them though. I don't know, honestly, like I think I saw from the thumbnail they're four members. Um, I know nothing about them. I know nothing about their company. I only, the only thing I heard is that they're like from a really like small upcoming company and that their CEO, he kind of paid, uh, like he went into debt to, to produce their music and stuff like that. Um, which honestly, much respect. And I'm happy to see that it kind of works out right now and that things go in the right direction. Um, that's always cool to see groups from really small companies thrive. Um, but yeah, there's a lot of hype about this group. So I thought, hey, um, I love girl groups, I love, New groups, I've been checking out a lot of new stuff this year and so far I love, I loved every, almost everything uh, that I checked out. So yeah, I thought I should give 50-50 a shot. Um, <laughs> let's see, I, I think the odds that I will like it are better than 50-50. Um, but yeah, we're gonna check out um, their song Cupid today. Uh, I think this is the, their most successful song. The, that's the one that brought the hype. Um, so I thought we're gonna start with that one and there are like two versions of this song if I understand correctly there's the official Cupid MV and then there's the Cupid twin version Whatever that is. Um, I don't really know but there's an official video or official lyric video for it um, I, Again, like I really don't know what this is about. I've just heard people like I've seen people post like challenges tiktoks about about this song uh but if not i've not heard anything i've not seen anything um yeah but i'm very curious to to see what all this is about finally <laughs> for myself um so here we go with 50 50 cupid we're gonna start with the official mv and then afterwards we're gonna do the twin version um let me just check if we have oh my god we have a lot of subs uh <laughs> we're sticking with english though because german subtitles they they confuse the hell out of me when i do reactions i can't do it um but yeah let's check out 50 50 with cupid in three two one go oh. like some sounds very familiar it's just like some classic sample that I should know uh, it sounds like something really old from like the 50s or even older like I don't want to like th this is not like an insult like <laughs> please don't take it the wrong way her voice sounds very old and I, I mean not like an age but like from a very old like it, it sounds like from decades ago this is how her voice sounds to me she has like a voice that sounds to me like she's 
like like singers from what like the 70s or something or the 60s even that's how she sound that's how how this whole song so far sounds to me also the style the harmonies already the lonely why why Also, we've not listened to this with full volume, so we're obviously going back for this chorus. This song relies so much on vocals and harmonies and and oh they're making it sound so dreamy I really like that and again it feels so old school maybe not like 60s 70s like I said earlier but like definitely this, this is giving me a heavy retro vibe and I always enjoy that where's Cupid Especially her voice. I think she's the same one that opened the song. She is such a interesting voice. So they're super adorable. Just need to say that. Oh my god, we have got, got to listen to that rap again because that really surprised me. Just not expecting a rap to come out in a song like this. Like the, the way the song was going so far, I was not expecting it. I'm not it. It's not a joke, so give it to me. Right, right now, no more chance to you. You know, hey, the the dumb boy. Wow. I think and now I know how I can describe her voice. I don't know. I don't know anything about her, but I wouldn't be surprised if she did like some. If she did like musicals before, or if she had s s uh, participated in musicals or like theater, because the way she sings kind of reminds me of that type of style, you know? It's really, that's kind of what it reminds me of. I don't know, it's really interesting.
there's like a Oh, I like how this like after credit scene looks very different from the whole color scheme. It looks much more real and more gray and dark compared to an DMV, which was like very dreamy and colorful and bright. Kind of shows you, yeah, it's not always going like that. It's not always going how they how they were singing about it. Like, I was about to say, the way they were singing about this song, um, about love, um, it was like a very, like, youthful way of thinking. I don't want to say naive, but like a very optimistic way to think about it. And um, it was just like a really fun love song in a way, and very wholesome. Um, which is something that you don't re really get often these days in K-pop because like I'm not complaining, but like there are a lot of songs with different messages with messages of like hey Be be strong be yourself like be confident in yourself and not necessarily uh, about like pursuing to love someone else, you know and, and get, like being in a re relationship with them um, but this is kind of this is kind of the song that that says hey yeah I want to be I want to be stu I want to be stupid I want to be in love I want to I want to be with you and like you dummy you don't get it like you know that's <laughs> kind of how the song is and it's so bubbly and fun uh, but then at the end it, it it goes to show you hey um yeah that's all nice but that's like not how it usually goes and I, I kind of like that twist at the end with the MV. Um, but I also just like how fun and bubbly the song is. It's really catchy. They have really pretty voices. Um, I think it was filmed really beautifully. Um, and yeah, it just it's putting a smile on my face and that's already a great thing. So let's move on to the twin version. Whatever that is, I, we're gonna find out. Let's see. It's English. Ah, okay, interesting. But yeah, hopeless romantic. That's kind of what this, what I wanted to say, and what I said previously. A hopeless romantic all my life, surrounded by couples all the time. I guess I should <laughs> take it as a sign. <laughs> what? Why? 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 Why is this? This is like the song is giving me a sign. It's like yeah, yeah, the <laughs> your friends. Oh my god! Why is it? Why does it feel like it's teasing me? They just put the lyrics on this like retro TV even like I don't know it's just everything is so in style like One of 
this felt this way before. That's why I really like this song too. <laughs> Although it kind of feels like a tease, but... <laughs> Hi, honeys. Is that, is that like... Is this like the fandom name? Honeys? I'm ready. Give it to me one more time. Oh. That, that, that part. Don't tell me this doesn't sound like out of, like, a song out of a musical, like or a verse out of a musical, or maybe even like a Disney film. It's giving me that vibe. It's just ah. And I'm not so talking about reason. I'm talking about oh. Wow, man, I see what the hype is about. I get it. I get it now. This is super fun. Um, I love the, the second version. I don't honestly, why is it called twin version? <laughs> it's just English version, right? Uh, or the, I mean, if I remember, like the subs for the first one were a little different. I wonder if they changed the, 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 the lyrics specifically for the English version. Um, but yeah, I, I, I would need to rewatch the, the first MV and then compare. Um, you guys could also just let me know. Um, but yeah, damn, this was fun. I totally get what the hype around this group and around this song. It's very fun. It's very, ah, it's very interesting. They have some really unique voices in this group. Um, and yeah, I'm, I'm very curious to, to hear and see more of them, honestly. Because this definitely, they have my attention now with this. Um, I love re how retro the song was. Uh, yeah, how they just played with this theme. I, I love the lyrics. They were kind of funny, but also in a, relab in a relatable way. Um, and it felt like it was kind of teasing everyone who's, who's like every single in the world was kind of teased by this song, I feel like. Um, but yeah, it was a lot of fun. I enjoyed it a lot. I hope you guys enjoyed my reaction as well. Um, if you did, make sure to like this video, subscribe if you want to. Um, if you have any recommendations for me for future 50-50 reactions, please leave them in the comments down below. Tell me what I need to know about this group, about these girls, um, about their like other content. Please leave any recommendations in the comments down below. I always appreciate that. And yeah, that's it for today. Thank you as always for watching, guys. See you all next time, and auf Wiedersehen.